For decades, world leaders have been struggling to solve a problem that for many people still seems a long way off. Climate change. But climate change is already happening. And it's having serious impacts on our water, energy, and food security. All three are essential for thriving societies and economies. And they are increasingly dependent on each other in our hyper-connected world. But as global consumption grows, we are destroying vital natural infrastructure, like forests, that regulate our water and climate. Climate change is putting further strain on this nexus of water, energy, and food security, with increasingly frequent floods, droughts, and fires. This is leading to heightened competition between different interests, sectors, and regions. And it is a challenge leaders face in every part of the world. In South Africa, the government is using a nexus approach to make tough choices about scarce water resources. Agriculture uses most of the country's water, but as energy demands grow, South Africa is investing in the world's largest hydropower installation in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In California, extreme droughts have exposed the growing risks from climate change. By adopting a more integrated approach to water and energy efficiency, California now stands to save over $1 billion a year. In China, rice is central to food security. The government has banned logging in its northeastern forests because they are vital for the soil, rivers, and rainfall that support rice production. But like many other countries, China relies on imports that can have hidden impacts elsewhere. That's why forward-thinking leaders are adopting a nexus approach to manage shared resources and increase our resilience on a planet under pressure. 